always love the alternate solutions. Let's go ahead and maybe think of some alternate solutions. So what could one alternate solution be? Well, here, my first solution chose the two red vertices and then the two yellow vertices. Why don't I look at a solution where I just choose all four vertices all at once? So what we're going to do is we're going to choose from n all four vertices that we're going to use. So again, let's get a picture of that. So I've got my kn with a bunch of vertices drawn here. I'll put sort of those in a in a collection. And I've just chosen four of them. Okay, so I've chosen one, two, three, four. So there's four that I've chosen. Now, what I need to do from that point is figure out which two I don't want to connect together. So we choose four vertices to use. So I'll just say choose four vertices. Once we've done that, now select the two from those that we're not going to connect together. Maybe it'll be these two. So from those four vertices, choose two of them that you're not going to connect. So those are where those are the two that are going to have the edge removed between them. So choose two to remove the edge from. And so that means once I've done those choices, my resulting graph is going to have this connection like that, but then I've removed that final edge, that one that connected to two red vertices. And so there's an alternate solution, and I can leave it for you to check that this solution, n choose 4 times 4 choose 2, is actually equal to the value that we had above. Okay, maybe another alternate solution. so we can get a feel for all the different ways there are to solve a problem like this. Again, I'll get our picture in here. We've got a whole bunch of vertices in Kn. I can do that same first choice. So select the four vertices that we're going to use. One, two, three, four. So there's four vertices that we're going to use. So that's our n choose 4, choose 4 vertices. Now once we've selected those 4 vertices, they make a k4 subgraph. Okay, so they make that. How many edges are there? There's 6 edges in that k4 subgraph. And what I want to do is I just want to remove one of them. So rather than look at the counting the number of ways to choose two vertices to remove an edge, what I'll do is I'll just say, well, there's six edges, and I'll remove one of them. And so maybe I will fill in the ones that, you know, I choose that one, choose that one, choose that one, choose that one, and I choose this one, and therefore I chose not to pick this diagonal one. So that's the one I threw away. So choose edge to not use. So choose the edge you want to delete. And so there's another alternate solution. Um, maybe we'll keep going, an alternate solution. Uh, I'm running out of colors for labeling my alternate solutions. Here's another alternate. An alternate solution. How can we do this one? Well, what I'll do is I'll redraw our picture that we had up above. So this one's going to bring strings into the mix. So here's our picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to label these. So the two vertices of that one type, we'll call them type A vertices. Those are the vertices where I remove the edge between them. And the other two vertices we'll call type B vertices. So now in our picture of Kn, there's our big picture of Kn. What I need to do is I need to select from that the type A vertices and the type B vertices. You might think that it's kind of like our alternate solution I just wrote above. 
the very top where I selected two red and two yellows. And yeah, it'll be pretty much similar to that, but I'm going to think about it in, in a slightly different way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, look at picking the vertices by taking a corresponding word. I will notice that a subgraph of Kn isomorphic to K4 with an edge removed corresponds to a word in A, A, B, B, and a whole bunch of C's. In particular, there's going to be N minus four C's. You might say, well, how come? Why is this the case? Well, this is how I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think of, for each of the vertices in Kn, so you, vertices in Kn, these are these are numbered. They're, they're labeled vertices from one through N, so there's an order on them. And I'm just going to think of a word. So for vertex one, maybe I'll put a label on these vertex one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. I'm just going to Court, write down the corresponding word, whereas I go from vertex to vertex, I'm going to say it's, uh, yeah, it was selected. It's going to be a type A vertex. How about number two? No, I'm not going to use it at all, so I'll call it a type C vertex. I won't use three at all either. But four, yeah, I'm going to use it, and I'm going to make it a type B vertex. But then five, yeah, I'll use it, and I'll make it a type B vertex. I won't use six, so I'll make it a type C vertex. I will use seven and I'll make it the type A. And then for, now I've got my four vertices, so all the other ones will be called C's. I'll keep this color the same, C, C, C. So in other words, the corresponding selection would be A, and then there'd be a C, C, B, B, and then the next vertex, is a C, so that was um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that was vertex 6, vertex 7 is an A vertex, and then all the remaining ones were C's. And so that word is telling me the selection of the vertices and how I'm going to use them to create a K4 with an edge removed, because now I can draw the edges in. The edges would be B, would connect to every A. So there's our B's, and this one connects to A as well. But the only thing that's missing is I wouldn't connect the two A vertices. So the two A vertices have degree two, the two B vertices each have degree three, and there's our corresponding graph. And so what that means is that the number, number of subgraphs isomorphic to K4 with an edge removed is equal to the number of words of length n with two a's, two b's, and n minus four c's. So that's n, choose two, two, n minus four. And so there is another way to come up with the solution. And if we write out what this one is, that's n factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, n minus 4 factorial. That would be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 all over 4. And that's exactly the one we came up with in the first solution. So again, Different methods for solving this problem all result in the same answer, but they pull on different kinds of counting techniques we've dealt with over the first few lectures.